गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स साई राम वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल एंड सेफ एट यू प्लेसिस चिल्ड्रन इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन फॉरेस्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ फॉरेस्ट children in this video we are going to learn about the types of forests and where they occur in india and the conservation of forest and wildlife children you know that india is covered by the different land forms and you have learned about the adaptation of plant in which you have learned that plants grow in a different area they have different structure according to climate in which they grow and you have seen in the last video that the kinds of trees or other plants that grow in the forest also depend on climate and soil of the places so children today we are going to learn about the five different types of forest which is found in india and they occur in different places in india so there are five main types of forest in india they are evergreen forest deciduous forest thorn forest mountain or coniferous forest and marshy and tidal forest so these are the five main types of forest found in india so let's see once again the names of forest they are evergreen forest deciduous forest thorn forest mountain or coniferous forest marshy and tidal forest so let's see one by one about them so first type of forest is evergreen forest children the trees which found in such type of forest they lose their leaves continuously and not all at once and new leaves replace the leaves that become old and fall so trees in these forest remain green throughout the year so in this type of forest trees do not shed their leaves at once they le they shed their leaves they lose their leaves continuously and new leaves replace the leaves that become old and fall so that's why such type of forest remain evergreen throughout the year children an example of such trees are rosewood ebony mahogany are some of the evergreen trees so these are the example of evergreen trees children evergreen forest are found in warm area with the plenty of rainfall so such type of forest found in warm area with plenty of rainfall and in india they found on the slopes of the western ghat and in the north eastern states of india such as assam arunachal pradesh meghalaya and tripura so such type of forest found in the slope of the western ghats and in the north east eastern states of india such as assam arunachal pradesh meghalaya and tripura then children our next type uh, our next type of forest is deciduous forest you know the meaning of deciduous plants that which shed their leaves at once at once they leave they shed their leaves they lose their leaves so the trees such type of trees 
in these forest shed all their leaves for some time during the dry or hot summer season in warmer climate or in winter when the climate is cold so they shed their leaves to protect themselves from the warm climate and to protect themselves from the cold climates so children and children also when there is scarcity of water means lack of water so the trees of deciduous forest shed or lose their all leaves at the same time during very hot or summer season in warm climate or in the winter in cold cl climates and also due to the lack of water so the example of deciduous trees are teak sal and shisham are the some example of deciduous trees children deciduous forest are also called monsoon forest are also called monsoon forest because due to the different monsoon they shed their all leaves the trees of that forest due to the different monsoon like in summer in winter they lose their all leaves children deciduous forest are found in most areas of southern plateau and in the foot hills of himalayas so in india deciduous forest found in most area of southern plateau and in the foot hills of himalayas so children here you can see the picture of deciduous forest here you can see all the plants of deciduous forest shed their leaves so this is the picture of sal trees in the deciduous forest jharkhand then children our next type of forest is thorn forest the name itself represent that plants which have thorn so these type of trees of forest are found in areas with very little rainfalls so such type of forest are found in areas with very little rainfall children they have short and thorny trees such as kikar and babul so babul and kikar are the trees are the short having sh are short and thorny trees so this type of trees are found mostly in the desert area because there is very little rainfall so thorn forest are found in a desert area because there is very little rainfall children thorny sh shrubs grow in such forest children thorn forest are mainly found in rajasthan and in some part of deccan plateau because such area are dry and there is very little rainfall so that's why thorn forest are mainly found in rajasthan and in some part of deccan plateau and also in the some part of gujarat also here you can see the picture of thorn forest then children our next type of forest is mountain or coniferous forest yes mountain or coniferous forest so this type of forest are found in mountain region so this type of forest is found in mountain region so these forest are mostly covered with tall and cone shaped trees and needle shaped leaves so such type of trees are found in mount mountain so these forest are mo mostly covered with 
tall and corn shaped trees with needle shaped leaves and the examples are pine pine spruce devdar and oak so these are the trees which found in the mountain forest and they have tall and corn shaped structure with needle shaped leaf because they have to make the snow fall of them easily so that's why they have corn shaped structure children caniferous forest are found in the himalayan region so such type of forest are found in the himalayan region children here you can see the picture of caniferous forest so here you can see the trees are tall and they have corn shaped structure with needle shaped leaf then children our next type of forest is marshy or tidal forest the trees which are found in the area in the marshy area so these forest are found in the delta of rivers such as ganga mahanadi and godavari so these forest are found in the deltas of rivers such as ganga mahanadi and godavari children marshy forest in the ganga delta known as sundarban the marshy forest in the ganga delta is known as sundar bans after the sundri trees that grow there so this forest is named sundar ban because because the trees which found their name as sundri so children marshy forest in the ganga delta is known as sundarbans and after the name of trees that is sundri that grow there here you can see the picture of tidal forest sundarbans then children in the last video you have seen you have read that that the area under the forest in india has been decreasing as we cut down trees to claim land for farming and making road building etc children less than 1/4 of land in india is presently covered with forest so this deforestation leads to many problem in which soil erosion is also one of its problem due to deforestation so deforestation leads to soil erosion you have read that soil erosion in which the upper layer of soil which is fertile it's blow from one place to another so this decrease soil erosion decrease the fertility of soil and deforestation also leads to landslide and forest which is common due to the deforestation in the deforested areas children deforestation also leads to re reduction in the animal population so the our government has taken many steps to prevent to conserve the forest to prevent the deforestation children do you know in 1974 villager in the hills of uttarakhand started a novel method of preventing deforestation what they have done they put their arms around trees hugged them that tightly and refused to move and children this movement was led by 
Sundarlal Bahuguna. Here you can see the picture of Sundarlal Bahuguna who leads this movement. And this movement then known as Chipku, Chipko movement. Here you can see the picture of Chipko movement in which ladies are around the trees. They are hugging the trees and they refuse to move from their places. So Chipko movements village villagers prevent a trees from being cut and this is a picture of that movement of Uttarakhand. Children, government also encourage people to plant tree, trees in various ways such as celebrating Van Mahotsav in the beginning of rainy season. Children, so social forestry scheme of government rural peoples are encouraged to plant more trees for wood, fuel, fodder and timber. Children, to prevent deforestation and conserve wildlife, the government has declared several areas as reserve forest. So, the government has declared several areas as reserve forest. And in these areas, the cutting of trees and killing of wildlife is not permitted. So, in such areas, cutting of trees and killing of wildlife in these forests is not permitted. Children, such places are known as wildlife sanctuaries and national park. So, sanctuary here is not means to make hundred run. Here the sanctuaries means a safe places. So, the government has made safe places in which a uh, safe areas in which the cutting of trees and killing of wildlife uh, is not permitted and such places are known as wildlife sanctuaries and national parks so children some of these are as fellow so some of the wildlife sanctuary and national parks india are as follow the first is corbett national park which is in uttarakhand so it is reserved Forest. It is Reserve Forest National Park, an area where cutting of trees and killing of wildlife is not permitted. And Kaziranga National Park in Assam, Sundarbans Tiger Reserve in West Bengal, Gir National Park in Gujarat, Kanha National Park in Madhya Pradesh, and Mandipur National Park in Karnataka, Periyar Wildlife Sanctuary in Kerala, it is situated in Kerala and Chirika Lake Bird Sanctuary in Odisha. So these are the some national park and some wildlife sanctuary which is in India which is reserve forest uh, where cutting of trees and killing of wildlife is not permitted. So let's see once again what are the sanctuaries and national park in India. So the Corbett, the Corbett National Park is in Uttarakhand, Kaziranga National Park is in Assam, Sundarbans Tiger Reserve is in West Bengal, Gir National Park is it is in Gujarat, Kanha National Park in Madhya Pradesh and Bandi, Bandipur National Park it is in Karnataka and Periyar Wildlife Sanctuary it is situated in Kerala and Chilika Lake Bird Sanctuary it is in Odisha. So these are the some national parks and wildlife sanctuaries. So children today you have learned about five different types of forest so they are green uh, evergreen forest which is always evergreen the trees of such forest shade their leaves but not at once 
and deciduous forest in this forest you have seen you have read that the all the trees shade their leaves together at once during the summer season in a warm climate or in the winter season in very cold climate and when and when there is lack of water and thorn forest you have seen the forest the trees which are grown, grown in a very dry and very hot desert and hot deserts and where where is where is very less rainfall and mountain or caniferous forest the forest which found in mountain region and they are curved the trees here are curved curved in shape and the leaves are sharp sharp needle like and the last one is marshy tidal forest you have seen the forest which found in marshy areas and where the delta of river such as ganga mahanadi and godavari so these forests are found in the deltas of rivers such as ganga mahanadi and godavari and children so for today your homework is you have to learn about them about these forests and about the conservation of forest and wildlife